Welcome to 1111, which is a segment from my podcast where I talk about a topic for 11 minutes and 11 seconds. <laughs> Sorry. This topic is inspired by my mutual bestie. Their name is CEO First. You should definitely check them out because they're the most insane, like, creative human being ever. So please, um, I'll link them in something, but just find them. They're amazing. <laughs> Anyways, um, this was actually this journal entry that I did this week because, believe it or not, I haven't been excited about a lot of things. Like, I've I've been feeling like I have been stuck inside of this, like, inside this sort of cycle, right? Where I eat, it sounds so ridiculous out loud, which is why this happened, like, on Monday, and now it's Thursday, and, like, I finally, like, can look. Anyways, I've been, okay, <laughs> I haven't been excited about eating food, especially tofu. Like, tofu has just been so boring to me like i cannot like literally the thought of tofu makes me want to die and i've just been like oh like i don't even want i don't get excited about food anymore i don't get excited about eating um except okay so this is where this comes in all right so uh mondays september 19th 2022 it's 9 17 p.m I should be asleep, but here is a quick journal entry. I haven't been ex as excited for this new week, so let's romanticize or list things that will get us excited. <laughs> so I have, like, you know, figured out a, a little, like, little life hack, guys, as for me, that allows me to get excited about life. It has been, you know, romanticizing my life. Like, being like, you know what, these things doing these things or these things happening in my life might make me happy. They might bring me, you know, some sort of different feelings or they might, you know, add a little twist to my life, you know, to my little life plot. And it's just something that I need. It's just something that I've been craving because I don't think that I, I think it's, I don't, I think it's completely normal to not feel excited about living in like a non- non trigger warning suicidal way like i think it's okay to be like i'm just not i'm just not in love with life and i think we should totally be okay with it like and i i think it comes in waves because i have like today i had this big wave where i'm like oh my god i love life and then like the two days ago i was like wow i am feeling down like i don't want to do anything i just want to lay in bed never get out of my room never leave don't talk to anybody but i mean i'll i'll you know update you on my week on my normal um segment on my podcast but i've been trying to do things daily that bring me some sort of like fun and some sort of excitement to my life and i'm so excited to talk to you about it because it's so much it's just fun okay and i think it's because i was like you know what not i am a young 19 year old i'm beautiful I, I obviously my feelings are valid of not feeling excited to you know live but i'm like let's romanticize buddy like let's you know let's get this ball rolling like we are you know we have a lot of potential and although i love writing feelings i love writing my waves i think it's important for me to step out of this like wave of you know feeling unmotivated or feeling sad or feeling not excited about living because call me crazy i want to feel excited about living life like i want to feel like i am living life to my my way you know like my potential my best life i feel like you know you live your best life to whatever potential you want but the way that i want i just want to have this thrill of like wow i love life and it it could literally just be reading it could have a good workout it could drink a good yerba it could be you know starting a new you know like book a new journal whatever that those are the things that get me really excited or it can be like meeting new people like i've been trying to meet new people i've been trying to do different things that i'm i don't usually do at sorry i'm burping oh sorry and i'll also okay so the back to the tofu right like i haven't been excited about tofu because you know it's like born and bland right which is kind of my brand like i feel like i'm a very boring person but um i like tofu's just born right so i started cooking it differently me and my mom i sat down with my mom because she sometimes cooks for me right so i sat down with her i was like hey gorge 
let's uh change it up okay let's i've been vegan for two years i've been eating straight tofu for two years let's you know let's pick it up let's do something different right so we've been trying to cook tofu differently we've been trying to look for new recipes we've been trying to f cook it in a different way right so i feel like taking action is very important like yes i did sit with my emotions and i was like uh this isn't really getting me anywhere um i did lay in bed for a day i did you know did nothing for a day but I was like, let's, let's get to it, Gorge. So I made a list, you know, I made this list. I was like, okay, these are the things that I might be excited for or that will, because manifest, right? I will get excited for this. So I was like, these are the things that will get me excited throughout the week because I just wanted to feel like excited for living. And I think it's completely okay to be like, I'm just not excited to live. And like a non, you know, trigger warning suicidal way. Like I just... I just like, I just want to feel, I just don't feel excited to live. And it's nothing like, you know, crazy. It's nothing like my therapist should worry about. I just don't want to get up in the morning. But then I've been getting on Pinterest. Pinterest is like, Pinterest is literally my savior. Pinterest is my Lord and savior. Like I just love Pinterest, right? So I've been getting on Pinterest because during my waves of like not feeling excited about life, Pinterest is the per not the person, the, the app that helps me like feel happy about life and it helps me like read little articles and read little like tweets and see little pictures of like just cute stuff right that really motivate me like pinterest is really good at motivating me like pinterest will get me up like this right so i've been like romanticizing kickboxing in the mornings because i got new gloves which i'm so excited um see there we go excitement for living i got new gloves and it makes me really excited um i've been trying to talk to people that i that i'm around every single day to feel excitement for life because the thing is sometimes you're around people and you've never had a conversation with them or you've never actually talked to them about certain topics that you're really interested in so once you get that ball rolling like for example today i had this conversation with this person named dakota they're first of all the name they identify as you know a man so his name is dakota and i love that like i'm obsessed with the name dakota and his middle name is literally river like i'm sorry i love that name anyways i never knew that because it would be things that I would never talk to a person about, right? So we literally started started talking about like shrooms. We started talking about like, you know, different type of drugs. We started talking about like freaking Joe Rogan. I was like, ew, red flag. And then we started talking about how like electric trucks, like it was just having a conversation with a human being that I see almost every day. I literally didn't even know their middle name. I didn't know what interest is. They're literally from Moab, Utah, one of my favorite places ever. It was just... I just sometimes feel like um, we forget that there's people that we that like there's new people that we're going to meet. There's new sunsets, sunrises we're going to see. There's new people we're gonna kiss. There's like new dates we're gonna go on. There's gonna be new friends we make. There's gonna be like a lot of maybe crying. I don't know. Like sometimes just getting ex like getting yourself hyped up in your brain about living life is like the best way to to like kind of go with life even though you know sometimes life is very mundane you kind of do have to romanticize the crap out of your life to get you know excited about living because speaking from experience having that wave of not being excited to live was a big downer and i'm so happy that i didn't get that wave when right now it's foggy and raining i like love it though because it's like you know my mood is really really good now and i'm so happy i waited the extra day to upload this because yesterday i was kind of upset and i was like I'm not in the right headspace for this, but now I'm like, no, Gorge, like, we got this, like, we're gonna ride the wave if we're not feeling excited to live life, that's totally normal, and that's totally okay, but now, it's literally game time, like, now I'm like, it's okay to go through waves, like, we're not always going to be on this excitement of life a thousand hundred percent every single day, like, sometimes we're like, it's totally fine to be like, you know what? I'm not excited to live today and I'm just going to do the bare minimum to, minimum to survive. And that's totally fine. And I think, and I feel like sometimes I get this pressure to, you know, to always be like at a thousand with like my workouts and my journaling and my reading and whatever. And then I look back, like I step back out of my little body and I'm like, dude, chill out. Like, it's really not that serious. It's never this serious. Like you have so many more years to live just take it day by day like breathe you're gonna be okay everything honestly 
everything works out at the end and if it's not working out it's not the end so we're gonna breathe and we're gonna be like you know what we're gonna be fine we're gonna like live life to the fullest we're gonna like i just have this like thing where i'm like everything i wish and everything i desire and everything i deserve is going to be given like it's not given but like i'm going to have it one day like i'm just i just know it like i, I just know that i am so sometimes that gets me really hyped so i'm like but also i've been trying to focus on right now like i'm not trying to focus on manny 10 10 years later i'm trying to focus on manny right now like what is Manny doing right now? What is Manny happy about right this exact moment? And usually this exact moment is what Manny five years ago wanted, you know? So now it's like, okay, let's appreciate this moment right now. Like this is the moment. Like, let's just be here. Let's not worry about Manny in two years. Let's not worry about Manny in five years, 10 years, whatever. Let's worry about Manny in Thursday, September 22nd at 4.20 PM, okay? let's just worry about that manny and let's let like let's just focus right like let's focus on building an excitement for life because honestly it's it's necessary you know and i feel like it's healthy anyways i love you so much that was just my little train of thought um please be safe and yeah uh bye love ya love ya love ya